Hi everyone, it's Bus from Home again. So today I'm gonna to do something very special and different. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own low content book. You don't need to invest any money at all. And by the end of this video, you will know how to put a notebook, journal, planner on Amazon to make $500, $1,000, $200, whatever you need. So this is not just for those that are based in US. You can do this in any country. It's a great way to make a side income income to pay bills off and even to save or purchase cool gifts for your friends and family members this holiday season and you'll be selling books that have nothing in them just blank pages and therefore you will not need to be an author to publish your book on Amazon because you will not be writing a single word you will be partnering with Amazon so you will be responsible to perform the product research book creation and listing Amazon will do all of the hard work Work. Amazon will do the printing and the shipping for your books when there is a sale. So you will learn easy tips and tricks on how you can get in front of the right people to start earning money online almost immediately. These are hot selling items online and I'm going to show you how you can make your very own books to start selling online so you definitely don't want to miss out on it. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. But before we get into it, please do me a favor and like this video so that this video can reach out as many people as we can online to learn how to make their very own low content books online and how to get started running your very own side hustle you'll definitely want to share this video with other people that you know as well so go ahead and like as well as share this video too okay so let's get started creating our books this is the fun part so you might be wondering well where do we get started we will get started using an online software called book bolt book bolt has all of the different things that you need in order to get started creating your own book so you won't need to toggle between different websites or softwares everything is included on this online platform okay so once we get onto book Bolt, we're going to want to sign up for an account and as soon as you do you will be able to access all of these free videos on how you can get your book together how you can customize it, how you can optimize it to start selling online. These videos truly break down the step-by-step -step process. If you have any extra questions, these are detailed videos to help you get started. So we're going to find the research tab on the left side and then go ahead and click create. And then from there, you will click Book Bolt Studio. And after they ask you for your login, you will go ahead and put that information in. So once we've done that, we will have to go ahead and select which kind of project we want to create. So for me, I wanted to do something a little fun and different. I wanted to create a hard copy, but just for the sake of keeping this video simple for everyone to be able to follow along with, we will go ahead and select paper copy and we will do a six by nine, which is about the size of this book here. Here, um, approximately the same size but then again there are many other choices that you can choose from after you've done that you will select your size and you also have to choose the interior we will keep that blank the page count I will go ahead and make it about 100 pages I want to go for 150 but We'll see how that looks first and keep it at 100. After that, we'll allow it to bleed so that everything can pour over onto the page properly and then continue. And so after that, you will be led straight to the page where you get everything started creatively. So you will see a guide as far as what the book will look like. The right side is your front copy and the left side is the back of the book. So what you can do is just kind of get that out of the way so you can start putting your designs in and you will go ahead and click this and delete those or rather hide them. So the type of book that I want to create today is a budget planner. And I know there are so many different books you can choose from. You can choose a book, um, like say a notebook, a writing book. You can choose a workout planner book. You can choose a journal, a diary, but 
I want to do something a little different and I want to choose something that I actually want to purchase myself. And I know that so many of you can also benefit from this product as well, because a lot of us, we're trying to be very smart when it comes to our finances, especially as the holidays come. And this will also be beneficial when the holidays are over and we have started the brand new year. So this is something that could sell for a lengthy period of time as we are coming up to that time right now. But what you want to do just to be smart is to choose according to the season. So right now we are around Thanksgiving, Christmas time. So another type of book that you could create is say a holiday budget planner book, maybe even a coloring book um, for children that want to color, say Christmas trees or Santa Claus. You can choose according to the time period. Even now, as it is a few weeks before Halloween, you can create a holiday Halloween uh, coloring book, Halloween um, planner, Halloween themes, uh, uh, notebook. These are all different things that you can do, but you can always find cool new ideas online uh, according to what time period that you are creating this book. And the reason why you want to do this is because there are so many people visiting Amazon every day looking for different things to purchase. And so if you go according to the time, there is a high chance that they will be searching for what you are selling online. So in short, you want to provide something that is in need at that very moment or in the moments to come. But other books that you could create could include gratitude journals or coloring books, also um, daily planners, workout planners, um, diet planners, something that goes along with something that you would be interested in purchasing and creating for a crowd that is also looking for those same things. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over to the photos section. So the photos section is where you can find cool images to include onto the cover of your book. And thankfully, BookBolt has where you can find free images where you don't have to pay or worry about copyright. You can create a book with free images that are cool and versatile as well. In my case, I did upload my own photo, but you can do the same thing on this platform as well. But just to make the process easier and more simpler for a beginner, you can use Pixabay. You won't be charged. You won't be dealing with any type of copywriting issue. So that is the safest option if you are planning to sell this online. So according to what you're looking for, you can type it into the search bar and I put in creative and you can see so many cool different images that come up. Book Bolt has so many different things that you can choose from. So I mean, if you're like me, you could be watching this for hours, just looking through all of the beautiful images, but I'm going to choose the one that I have already designed. So once you get your photo, you can go ahead and spread the photo throughout the entire square space that they give you um, but for me I created two photos one for the front and one for the back and you're going to want to align it the skinny middle where you see the green lines are the spine of the book so you want to be careful how you structure the book just because the spine is right there but if you spread the image completely throughout the square I mean it wraps all around so you can't go wrong in that way but you definitely want to make sure that all of the white space is covered by your design. So do you see how this looks? I'm already getting excited. I love the simplicity of how this is coming out. It's not requiring too much and it looks great. So the next thing you want to add is a title. There are so many different styles that you can choose from. Go ahead and put in the title of your brand new book. Type it in and drag it to the front part of the book. If you don't like it, you can change it, you know, toggle around with it, choose between the different styles. You can switch between different fonts. So go ahead and play around with it and be creative. So there are so many different things that you can do with your title. You can even add in shapes. There are so many different shapes like butterflies, circles, um, different other shapes as well. I think my book looks good enough right now. So I don't want to choose anything else to add on to it. And so there you go. My cover is done. So all you have to do now is add in your blank pages. Let me know how you like 
like the book cover down below. I think it's cool. Um, what would you add if you were me? Okay, so now as we begin adding in these pages, you're going to click page one. So now you're going to click the maze looking icon and you will find so many different templates that you can choose from blank pages, pages filled with lines, pages with dots. If that's your thing, if you want to do more like a bullet style planner, um, there are also puzzles as well included. So you can definitely add in what type of page you want. Even if it's a blank page, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is add in the first page that I designed and I wanted to add in a scripture just to kind of encourage people that are using my planner. Um, I wanted to add in something motivational. You know, as soon as you open up the planner book, you'll kind of want something to supercharge you a little bit and encourage you and inspire you as you are planning out your budget. You know, depending on what season of life you're opening this book, you may feel a little low. So I feel like the first thing that you'll want to look at is just something inspirational. So I added in a cool scripture just about God's ability to do this great new work through you as you are planning your finances. So I've added that page there and I also went ahead and clicked the third box to add in my next page, which is the page with the fin uh, finance planning page. So you can find this on BookBolt as well. They have finance planner pages that you can add on. You'll find that BookBolt has done all of the work for you. You will not have to do any writing, any type of um, thinking or creativity, really. You can just choose the things that you think will look best in your book. Okay, so once you're ready to add your pages, they will give you an option to choose which pages you want to populate with this specific um, design, whether it's a design or a blank page. You can choose the odd pages or you can choose the even pages. You can even select all and create an entire book with um, just lines or blank pages. So you can select the first few pages to maybe be goal setting pages or maybe note pages. You can change it up a little bit like me and have one type of page on the left side and another on the right side. So it's all according to what you want. If you are creating a diary or a journal, you will want to select all for that specific design, the blank page or the line page design. What I'm going to do, like I mentioned, is set my design for odd pages and set another design for the even pages. But like I mentioned earlier, you can keep it very simple and to the point by just adding in all of the pages for one with one design. So next they'll ask you for this other information. Don't worry about that too much. Just go ahead and click submit. You can go ahead and change up the look of the structure, the margin, the spacing, but right now we're just going to keep it simple. So the next page that I have here for my odd pages is a notes page because once you've created a budget or plans, your finances, I will want to write some notes, maybe write some goals on the right side of the page, um, write some things that I want to do differently for the next time that I review my finances. So I'm going to set some notes on the right side of the page. And so I'll go ahead and do the same thing, but put this specific page for the odd pages so that they are on the opposite end of the finance planning pages. So go ahead and click next, submit, and you are pretty much done. Your book is created in less than 10 minutes. Isn't that exciting? So the next thing that you'll do is go ahead and save it by clicking download and download current page CMYK printed books. So this will download your file into two different PDF files. So you'll have one for your front cover as well as your filling pages. And guess what guys, I have a special discount code for you to get access to the free trial and a discount of 20% off. It is boss from home. You can find that also down below in my description box. So now the next step is to get your book onto Amazon. You will go on to Amazon KDP and good news here is it is completely free. So you will not have to pay 
at all in order to get started. And you will have to enter your tax information. So go ahead and put that information in. You might be wondering, well, how will I get paid through Amazon KDP? There are different ways that you can get paid online. You can get paid through direct deposit, which is the recommended route. You can also get paid through wire transfer, check, as well so you can choose whichever one you are most comfortable with so if you choose the direct deposit route like i did you will have to choose your bank put in your bank information like your account number your router number your address and so forth it's completely safe and secure for you to put that information in so when will you get paid you'll get paid once a month and at least 60 days after the sales have been made. So that's what Amazon does. If you have any questions, I would go ahead and take that up with Amazon. So from there, you're going to create by clicking the create tab and from there, you will start your complete application to getting your book onto Amazon. First, you will see the screen here. What would you like to create? We're going to create a paperback. Like I mentioned earlier, where I told you I would be giving you guys some cool hot tips on how you can get started and how you can reach the people that matter most, which are the customers online. This part is very important. So you'll definitely want to listen up. So you do want to do your research online so book bolt will show you the top books that are selling and they'll tell you how many people are searching on Amazon in comparison to those that are looking on Google they will also do the work in showing you which keywords to add into your description just to make your product stand out amongst the crowd so it really is important that you add in all the right information thankfully book bolt has done that for you this all matters very much because a lot of people don't get their books sold because they're not adding in the right keywords and they have not done the research needed in order to know whether or not their idea is a hot and trending idea so definitely listen through this video even if, if you have to listen again because it's really important that you get all of this information right so that you can start and actually get paid for the books that you are putting here online so in order to get started finding out which title to use which keywords to use and all that great stuff you're going to go back to the left tab and where it says create you're going to instead click research After after we have clicked research we're going to click the cloud tab and so from there you will see that book bolt searches the top 100 best sellers according to the category that you pick today we're doing more of a notebook planner structure depending on that category you're going to want to put that in the keywords and after you put that information, you're going to click search. So from there, you will see so many other planners, books, um, notebooks, just like yours that are selling right now. And what you can do is look at the title, get some ideas on what titles you can choose as well. Don't try to recreate too much. I mean, you can stick to the same thing, maybe tweak it just for your own fitting. But if you see something that works well, you're going to want to do that again. You can pick and choose between the different titles that you see and some of the hot sellers. You can also in the same research tab, see how many sales each book is making. So choose between the ones that are hitting the most and you will find the title and information that best suits your particular book now just remember that there is a subtitle option so put in the title but also add in a subtitle which is optional but you can fill in that space as well with more wording which is really important because people are searching on amazon and this title will stand out to be one of the things that people are looking for so you will see series you can go ahead and skip that um especially if it is a basic notebook you're not thinking more about a part one part two so just go ahead and skip that edition number is optional you don't specifically need that as well next you'll see 
author and that's where you can put in your name. This is your book and you are the author of this book. Contributors, you don't have to put in any contributors. So for the description, you can use a lot of the ideas that you see online. So where you looked on Book Bolt in the research tab and found all of the similar items that are selling right now, all of the best selling notebooks or planners, you can go through and look at some of the description um, that a lot of the sellers are leaving under their products. And you can use a lot of those and tweak it according to what you are selling. I would not say to go ahead and copy and paste, but change it up a little bit, add some more spice and zest to your product so that people will feel comfortable buying from you. You'll want to fill this space up with um, what features your book has, how it will add value to the customer's life. Also, you'll want to add that you have copyright to this book. So you are the author and you want to go ahead and own that copyright with this book. So go ahead and click that as well as going down to the keyword section. This is very important as well because this will help the customers find your book through the keywords. So the keywords help you to get found by the people that are surfing the internet or on Amazon looking for a book just like yours. So thankfully, you can also find a keyword generator here on Book Bolt. And so what you're going to do here is go to the keywords tab and then hit search. So once you've done that on the right side, you can go ahead and put in the type of book that you are selling. So here we are selling a budget planner. So you can put your particular book there. This will help you find the other keywords that people are using in addition to the title of your book. This will pull in the customer to find your book and realize that they are at the right place at the right time and they need to go ahead and buy your book. So as you can see here, they have shown me all of the keywords that are associated with the book that I am selling. And you can also see how high the competition is. So where you find the red high buttons, those are the key words or phrases that you want to use in your specific book. So first they will show you the keywords and the phrase as well as the Amazon search volume. They also show you on the right side the Google search volume. And like I mentioned, look at the ones that mention high competition because that is exactly what people are looking for online. So Amazon only gives you seven keywords to use. So go ahead and put in the best seven that you can find. Another thing that you can do on Amazon to rank higher is choosing the right category. So you'll find that the categories that are not used as often, you know, will help you to stand out even more, but you will want to choose the one that best suits your particular book. So for me, I chose personal finance because because that is the type of book that I am selling. You also want to choose that you are selling a low content book and also let Amazon know that this is not an adult content book. They want to make sure that everything is appropriately sold on their platform. And so now you will be led to the next page where you can go ahead and put in the different details. You can publish without the ISBN. Publication date is not as, um, urgent right now. And then you'll be led to the part where you can upload your entire book. So the manuscript is the inside of the book. So you will want to upload that from your computer. And so once you've uploaded that, Amazon KDP has a cool option where you can preview the entire book. This is fun because you get to see how your book looks and if there's anything that you want to change, which most likely you will not want to change because everything has already been done so well on the Book Bolt website. So once you've done your quality check, you will get to see a summary of how much it will cost to print the book. So the good news is that you won't be paying this up front, but each time that your book does sell, Amazon will take that small amount out um, per sale. Amazon takes it out so it can be printed and sold to the customer. So here you can choose how much you want to sell the book for. Just be aware of the book that you're selling and some of the competition online. You know, make sure that the price is at the right setting point and not too high, not too low, because Amazon will be taking a percentage out each sale. 
For me, I chose $9.99. That's a pretty reasonable rate for someone to purchase a budget planner, probably a little bit on the lower end, but this is just for the sake of the video. So this is how much I will be getting paid after Amazon has taken out their portion for the printing. Um, they will be paying me this amount. So if you're not comfortable with that price, you can go ahead and increase your price uh, selling point. Um, but like I mentioned, you want to be very careful because if the book looks a little um, more expensive than the others that are being sold, like some of your competition, it may not be sold as often as your competition. So be sure to know what your competition is doing and try to match that. And you'll also realize that when you look at your competition, you'll see what works. So based on the selling, um, the amount of sales that each book has made and some of the reviews, you'll see, okay, this price point works best. And so you can reflect that within yours as well. If you are the typical Amazon shopper, you like to purchase the items that have a lot of reviews and good reviews as well and high ratings. So for this reason, you will want to maybe sell to some of the people that you know, your closest friends and family members and have them leave some reviews so that your listing looks more credible and more attractive to someone who is thinking just like you, who wants to see great reviews and get to know what it is that they are purchasing before they purchase it. Another thing you can do is buy the books and give them out to some of your friends and family members and have them leave a review telling how they like the book, what things were best about the book, some of their favorite features and so forth. So just know sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but you definitely have to put in the work just so that you can see the great results come back to you. So once you're done, you're going to want to wrap it up and sell it to Amazon. They will go ahead and show you this screen where you can review everything um, and even have the option to publish your book as a Kindle ebook. The process of Amazon reviewing your book does take at least 72 hours to review. So give it some time. But once they get back to you, you can sell officially online and share it with your friends and family members. You can also sell other things like I mentioned earlier, like coloring books, um, fitness planners, puzzle books, children puzzle books, children's coloring books, um, adult coloring books, crossword puzzle books. And the best part about this is you can always come back to book Bolt and create other books. You can create journals, notebooks, anything that fits that particular season, any type of holiday that's coming up, you can create more as you go. So as you create these books, you'll get even more accustomed to the platform and be able Able to sell even more things as you create them. Now just be aware, Book Bolt is not 100% free. You will have to come out of pocket just a little bit, but when you think about all of the sales that you'll be getting, this is so worth it. So they have two different plans. They have a $9.99 newbie plan and they also have the pro plan that is $19.99 per month. If you want to get access to all of the pre-made templates and some of the puzzles that are included into the Creative Studio, you will want to go ahead and choose the pro. That's what I'm using right now. And that gives you so many more options to be creative and free flowing when you are making your very own book. So there's so much that you can do with the pro, but you can always choose the newbie as well and you can be creative with newbie. The best part about it is you get a three day trial. So the first three days you don't pay, get to know the platform, see if it works for you. For me, it's so easy to choose because once the three days are over, you'll want more time to create more books and be more creative and sell even more things online. And guess what guys, I have included a discount code for you guys. The discount code is boss from home. You can get 20% off and a free trial. So go ahead and check it out. It is completely affordable. 
everyone can get started. So there you guys have it. This is how you can create your very own low content book online and sell on Amazon in less than 10 minutes. I hope that you enjoyed this easy tutorial video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if it created great value for you, give it a thumbs up because that will help this video to continue to reach new people that are looking for ways to make money at home and create a side hustle that works well for their families. So go ahead and like the video and subscribe because I will be sharing more videos just like this one. And let me know down below how you enjoyed this particular video and if you want to see more things like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.